Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't watched the previous video on scoping the curriculum, watch that one first and then come on this video which is on spaced repetition schedule. Link is just above. So now since you have created all the um, x-axis is going to be your the subject that you are going to study, the topic that you are studying like local anesthesia, GA, pharmacology, it could be different for you. On the column heads which is going to be our y-axis for all these places, you have the notes or some kind of exam or some kind of revision technique that you're going to complete. Now, how do we go ahead with it? So first step is write not done on every single thing. We just do not want to type it everywhere. So you would type not done here and you will uh, click on this one cell. Do you see on the top, uh, on the bottom right, there is this little square that shows up. You hold on to that square and you drag it all the way in the bottom. So right now it's uh, in this color. So let me just change the font color to, uh, for example, blue. And uh, now when I hold this uh, bottom right square and I drag it down, then it change all the cells to blue color. And for the same thing, if I want to do it more faster, then I'll select this column and then I'll hold this square and I'll run it across all the columns and it will turn all those columns into blue color. So I like it red because red is always bad. Red is equal to bad. So on the top, I have created this cell. So all I did is type danger and then I go here in the bucket and I filled it up with red color. So red is equal to danger. Yellow is I did it once and green is I'm good. I'm excellent. I love it. I'm very happy about this particular topic. So every time I do something, for example, today I finished uh, local anesthesia, then I will go ahead and I'll say uh, once and I will paint this yellow so that I know that I did one topic today. The more I start doing it, for example, in the next two months, I completed all the DSCC class notes that I had at least once. After that, I need to know that, oh, I have just done it once and that to all of these, then I need another revision. So for after that, I would start giving it my second revision. So second revision is something when I'm actively trying to test myself, trying to quiz myself. If everything is working, I'll make it twice. If this is done then and if you did it twice and that to in a very specific time frame that yes uh, i did it today and then after three weeks i've done it again then you can say then you can say i am um, i did it thrice and maybe on that thrice you want to paint it as a green bucket because now you are feeling very good now you are saying that i don't need to do these notes all over again i have done it thrice and i kind of memorize what's there i need to quiz myself more so i should probably focus more on these kind of things and not my notes by end of your preparation the ideal thing should be that this entire page becomes green in color and it is going to be a painful thing to watch it every day in red and yellow and red and yellow because say you did not do well on these three topics then you would paint them red and you will say i suck at this i have to get back to my groove because i did not do this well once you read it again and uh, prepare the notes again and then you go back to the test and you think now you are getting better go back to yellow if you think it's it's okay i have done it three times now i think i'm good then go back to green color this is how you play and you make sure that the visuals give you the exact information what is happening with your overall preparation one sheet and everything is right here in front of your eyes whenever you open google chrome how awesome is the system right i hope this part is clear now comes a part that how do I create a schedule for me so that I, I perform it that way? I'm always following along and I never lag behind. Let me show you in the next video. So this is just one video out of the 25 lectures in my entire course on Udemy on how to ace competitive exams, where you will learn some interesting topics, including how to scope your curriculum, digital note taking skills, space reputation, active recall, and some other tips to reduce test anxiety and focus on your exam. So join my full course. Link is in the description below and I'll see you next time on this channel. Bye bye.